Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm here to tell you why the shooting of President Donald Trump yesterday, without a doubt in my mind, was a planned and coordinated attack on the president inside our government, our local agency, or police force. Here's why. My name is Matthew Murphy, and I am a retired Green Beret, retired from Best Special Forces Group, but I'm also a level one sniper which means that I have graduated the, the highest level of training for snipers that you can do in special operations. We're trained, I'm gonna avoid uh, confidential or classified terminology. We're trained in assassinations and counter assassinations for the very reason, uh, uh, case in point yesterday, the shooting of President Donald Trump. So first of all, uh, anywhere the president's gonna go, there are teams from the Secret Service that go out days, if not weeks, if not months, before the president will ever be at that spot. And they do a site security assessment. And they do that with the local uh, police forces and agencies to ensure that every potential security threat or vulnerability is secured and, of course, protected against. Now, this is done way before Donald Trump will ever get there. And they know every place that the president will be and the sniper team especially is responsible for ensuring that no one can take a shot at the president. Now that does not mean that the sniper team just sets up with their guns and scans the crowd and shoots. No, what they do, the most important thing they do pre-Donald Trump showing up is within a 360 degree environment of that podium of the president, they ensure that there is not a place that is open that will be accessible by someone with a rifle to take a shot at the president. So they make sure those places are barricaded off, unaccessible and heavily guarded. So there is no way you were gonna get to the place where you could even shoot the president with a rifle before the president shows up. Then they scan the crowd and those places with the rifle just in case by some miracle you do. Now you're not gonna tell me, I don't care who you are, don't listen to the media, nonsense anyways i think most of us have know that by now that some 20 year old kid that looks like he played dungeon and dragons in his mom's basement is trained on a gun especially a sniper rifle like that is a registered republican and then can access anywhere near the vicinity of that crowd of that event with him not dressed in a uniform and that sniper rifle he was wearing american flag t-shirt and pants and he had a rifle. You're gonna tell me that that kid went through all this levels of security, somehow got into the closest building to the president, then accessed the rooftop of the closest building to the president, then had the time to unpack his rifle, lay down in the prone, and then take five to eight well-aimed shots at the president before he was decisively engaged by the Secret Service's counter sniper teams or a local police department. I don't know who they were, most likely police. You're gonna tell me all that happened and a 20 year old kid did that without it being heavily planned, coordinated, and people on the inside making it happen? There's absolutely no way possible that that kid was able to get up there and take those shots at the president without a lot of internal help. So someone in that local or, or some people inside that local police department agency or the secret service is compromised and is a threat to our president. So we need to stop worrying about that damn shooter and start worrying about who allowed this shit to happen. And President Trump, if you need an American to protect you who's actually good at sniping and stopping this crap, give me a call. I'll do it for free. Everybody have a good day. God bless.